me flashy, make me florid, make my auditory torrid. When I preach on the devil and the communists, let me face across the stage like a silk-suited animal. Atheist a evangelism. Ah, ah this, the right. word says topic on the screen. Yeah, what about it? Well, what does that mean to you guys? Well, uh, I can essentially give the short version of my uh, what I was going to talk about right here. Lately, there have been more <laughs> exercises by different atheist groups in atheist outreach, which is to say getting the atheist message out to the general public uh, in a more direct way than, than atheists have done in the past. And I've seen that there have been some effective ways of doing that and some ineffective ways. Uh, for example, there, uh, the, the American Humanist Association took out ads on buses. Uh, there have been signs, billboards placed. And some of these I've thought have been really, really good signs. And others I've thought have been not so good, rather unnecessarily confrontational, when I think that such, such messages in that context ought to be positive. Uh, and shows like this, atheist blogs, atheist books, you know, this is a great forum for being you know, confrontational if it gets there. But uh, the best atheist evangelism that I've seen have been just the general signs that make other unbelievers aware that, there are, that they are not alone out in the culture and that there are other people that they can meet who share their disbelief. And you know, we've already heard from several of our atheist callers today about how when it becomes known to friends of theirs and family members who are believers that they are an atheist, those people shut them out and are very unfriendly to them and, and hostile to them and, and, uh, and reject them and, and well, a little the funny confused thing. with that. And so, uh, so this is a way uh, we've seen lately that atheist groups are doing I'm a lot a more I'm a believer. Outreach. Okay. All right. Well, my question is, if you are an atheist evangelist, then how, why are you trying to spread something as a religion? Well, that's you not, don't we're not. In a, if you don't believe in a religion. We're not. We're not. I use the term evangelism in just sort of a casual, colloquial way. But you just, it's a way of meaning getting, getting the message out there to atheists I at large that there are other people like them out there. Just sort of letting other people know about atheists and Okay, well, that's general. great. But Here's the problem. You know, I have been raised. I have a brother who is a... Southern Baptist pastor for mm -hmm. an, independent, an independent fundamental Baptist church. Mm -hmm. Okay? So my question is not necessarily why should I continue to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, but why you as an atheist should tell me that you're right. Because at no, this that's... time, I'm kind of at an impasse. Like, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe my brother's right. See, here's, I mean, he, yeah. here's, here's the thing. It's... it's just in the way you phrase that, it, it kind of gets me to the point, and I'll hit it as quick as I can. Um, I'm a lot like your brother in that I was going to be a Southern Baptist pastor, uh, okay. but the question isn't, uh, it, the, the assertion isn't that we're right. It, the, the position here is that the case for your brother's God has not been made, that there is insufficient but evidence. But there is scientific proof, and I'm not of, the of one what? who really, okay. I'm not credible. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not credible to argue this with but, you, but I have okay, seen okay, okay, stop. Hang on, hang on. conferences. Hold on, hang on just a second. You, you say there's scientific evidence or proof of what? The fact that we are not millions and millions of years old. Okay, as okay, as, okay, hang on. hang on. And then you say that you're not qualified to argue that case, correct? I did say I'm not qualified, then, but you asked then why, me what then am why I even qualified bring it up? to argue. Then, then why do you believe it? If you are unable, that's my question. That's why I want I want you to tell me why I'm wrong for believing okay. that all well, my first life. Off, why did well? Why did again? Why do you think you're, why do you think that there is credible scientific evidence for the, the the idea that the Earth is not millions of years old? What is what scientific well, evidence I do you think there is? Here, well, again, here we go into where I don't have all of the information. Then, if you don't have all the information, you need to you need to understand that, and you need to not go around saying things like there is this proof. I am not saying that there is this proof. You just did. I actually you just called did. you, you just about. Did. You no, no, no. You no, did, huh? You just you said there is scientific... topic is atheist evangelism. I know, right. but we're, we're trying to get My you... My question to you is, 
Am I wrong? And if yes. I am wrong, tell me We're trying what to, but I won't need let to us do. Get if believing that I'm an atheist will make me free no, no, and no. make me feel better. I, I, no, 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 there's no, okay, there's no, uh, nothing about believing that you're an atheist. There's nothing, uh, I, I happen to find uh, atheism particularly freeing of the mind, uh, but there's, there's no assertion to that. The, the only thing is that there's no justification for believing in a god, at least it's so far as I know. And when you when you talk about your position, you said that there's scientific proof, even though you can't present it, that the Earth is not millions of years old. Well, you're kind of correct in a way because it's billions of years old, about four and a half billions of years old. And if you actually go and study the science, you mm -hmm. can discover this on your own, rather than saying somebody told me that the Earth isn't millions of years old and that they have scientific proof for it, and so I'm going to believe them. That is not the scientific consensus. It's not remotely. Matter of fact, that, that particular idea okay, is laughed well, out. Where would I find the scientific evidence that you are referring to? Talkorigins.org. Or, or any or any sort of, there are any number of... Geology books? Yeah. Uh, uh, there are... Eighth grade geology there are, books? There are big universities so, in this country that teach this. these courses. As an atheist, do you feel more free in your lifestyle? Do you feel like sure. it doesn't really matter what you do? Do no. you have no. morals or ethics? Yes. Of course. Really? And what are they based upon? They're based upon reason. They're based upon the fact that we're higher thinking beings and that we understand what it takes to succeed as such. What we're trying to get you to understand, and this is what we were harping on earlier on when, when you, know, you weren't sort of letting us respond to you, which is if you want to understand what is correct to, or what is, well, let's say it, what is correct to believe in your life, you first need to be, to learn to be more consistent in your thinking. You, learn to, you need to learn to understand that you can't go around saying in the same sentence, there is scientific proof for X, but, the, but I don't know what it is, or but, but I can't defend it. You need to not, because essentially you're holding on right now to some very contradictory ideas in your head, and you're trying to sort of make them coalesce. And I think the reason is you just really haven't learned to sort of streamline your thinking and to understand if I'm going to hold to a certain position, I need to be able to defend that position. If I'm going to say there is scientific evidence for X, I need to have studied that so that I can say there's scientific evidence for X. Otherwise, I'm just oh, like somebody... I no make me flashy, make me florid, make my oratory...